Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 for hopefully the final episode. Hilariously, during the last episode at some point I didn't even notice. Uh, king Calvin of England. My son and heir is now the King of England. How useful. So, we have the mass HRA doomstacks on the coast, <clears throat> and our armies have been re-raised. I've taken a short, short break. Oh god, just let go of it. Not, not worth trying to select everything. God, the frame rate just dies when you do. Ah, yes, right, I used that to appease him last time. So, yes, my... Assuming that the this ends the way it does, I'm probably just gonna... Like, if I end at 1399... I'm probably just going to put England in, like, a personal union under me. Just basically because this is how it is. So they've walked through, smashed, and taken there. Oop. I think the HRE is starting to crack. I've been passing money around to a couple of vassals uh, to try and keep them from revolting. But I don't think the AI ever does the same. So, I mean, I guess it's probably bound to crack eventually, and just hopefully fall apart. Or am I just fantasizing again? I can't tell. Alright. Decline. I'm not giving into that madman's demands. Now you will give in to my demands. Yeah, no. <laughs> Figured. And when was the last time that ever actually worked? Well, it might work if I can... If I can get the stuff right. <coughs> Oop, open council position. Oh, need a new steward. Research some economy tech. 32 economy each. Not too bad, alright. And down here, and whoop. you need to get back out there. Oof, lag for thirteen ninety eight. The final countdown is pretty much in effect. Now, if I remember correctly, EU three starts October fourteenth. So we'll probably pause on October 13th, so I can do some diplomacy things and civil wars and stuff to ensure that there's, you know, enough, uh, what do you call it, tags to go around. I'll probably have to end some civil wars and consolidate things. No. Almost clicked the stupid button. All right. Alright, looks like they're going in on there. Strike them. Fourteenth of May, seventeenth of May. Got you. Ninety-one. Hmm. Looks like I might just manage this. I've already won. Give up now and I will spare your life. Yeah, no. Also, I fully support the right of... 
others. Hmm. It appears the HRA is best in me here. It also appears I am running out of troops to raise. This is rather problematic. Alright, I'll just get out. Alright, they're going there, that's fine. Um, alright. Oof. Alright, 48k and all that. Alright. Final re-raise, hopefully. Hmm. Oof. <laughs> he finally recognizes he's losing the war at 97% war score in my favor. It basically may come down to whether or not I can pull this uh, final battle off here. And get there. No, I don't think I can get there in time. Victory. Anything to buy me uh, time in Toronto, because so long as I control that, my war score will keep increasing. 1399. This is it. Mark. Final year. Not even. Way past that now. 100%. It's. It's. It's done. I I have it. I I have it. I I don't even ugh. Let's hand off some of these excess baronies. Anyway, um it appears I've done it. I managed to conquer a county from the HRE, which in reality is more just s symbolism. It's symbolic that I have now taken a county from both empires, and truly locked in the legitimacy of my own. And finally, after a rather long, long, long rest, the troops need it. Just drop all of it. Phew. Hmm. Eh, he's fine. Or is he? Yeah, sure. What? There's one of them being backed by Norway? Yeah. Gloucestershire and Independence? Yeah. <laughs> British Isles are indeed a mess. And I don't even have the strength to get up there right now. My empire is... My empire is, is... I don't even know. I don't even know what my empire is anymore. Or Sir the Emirate of Basra. Do Zabai. Mm. So they've split up. Because if I remember correctly, there's just this one guy. He's now just... Yeah. So... No longer him a baron. Grant landed title, including lower ones, the Duchy of Basra. That's rightfully his anyway. So it is not of my concern.
But uh, yeah, that's probably the final war. I there's not enough time left to engage in any further wars or anything. So. Leonian independence, interesting. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. Aquitaine taken back. Just kind of watching uh, the sun set on this game. At least probably. I think it's done. Hmm. Not my de jure liege. Foreign culture. Hmm. So the king of Jerusalem. Eh. He's an uh, iconoclast, though. De jure claim on Montreal. Okay, so I lied. It's not quite the last war. We've still got just a little left in us. <laughs> and apparently so does he. <laughs> uh, to arms, my brothers. Yeah, who am I kidding? What the hell's Timur doing there? Yeah, holy crap. It, Timur is still alive, too. The, first, the day one of EU3, he's, he's going to be alive, hopefully. He doesn't drop dead. Fingers crossed here. I want to see this guy live. But, uh, yeah. We'll probably... I've got a lot of work to do. I'm probably going to make a video or two about the uh, whole conversion process. But, yeah. So, again, let's take a look at the religion. The iconoclasm has pretty much spread throughout my entire empire. There's, you know, a bit of area. There's a bit of Muslim left. Uh, we have a new whole Orthodox band area here that's kind of formed out of uh, Poland and the Byzantine states. <coughs> and a Catholic empire. The county claim on Hagia Sophia. Hmm. The Second Syrian Holy War for Syria. How intriguing. Looks like the war score is 100, so it's over. Yep. Wow. Oop, October 24th. Slightly off. I lapsed on tension because of this war. All the better. The war won. So now that's not a hinge point or anything. Anyway. So yeah, this is the end. Scotland has solidified and taken uh, Ireland and pretty much destroyed the Jura Kingdom of Ireland. There is no longer a Kingdom of Wales. God knows what the hell's wrong with Scandinavia. And um, my personal union partner, ruled by my son. Yeah, I think that's the best way to handle it. Or I could just kill him here. Like, use a cheat or something to kill him here and inherit that just for the sake of it. I don't know. Probably just going to go with uh, personal union. Because, like, my son's ruling that kingdom. Kind of weird. Um, yeah. Mali fell apart. Ooh. The Fatimids are having a bit of a struggle. Probably just going to re-annex these guys into the HRE, just so they're part of the HRE. Because when I, you know, take apart the HRE and elect the emperor and yada yada yada, then any land owned by the HRE, I think, is going to become, like, uh, in EU3 terms, the HRE. How close was I to forming Sicily, since that really was my goal? 5 out of 15. Damn. Would have needed another... 3 provinces. At any rate... Eh. Yeah, this is the Empire. 
the Palmyran Empire has risen. Hey, the Yale Khanate still exists. This is possible? What the hell? And Timur's still alive? Yes, he is. Seriously, what the hell? How does a female come to power in the Khanate? And it appears that the hordes have remained Tengri, at least the northern ones. So they're going to be pagan, I guess. That could cause problems. I may have to do something about that. But, uh, yeah, this is the end. Hi-ho, silver away. As I said, I will be probably doing a video or two on uh, the whole conversion process, but, you know, that's going to be done over the course of a couple of days. But in the end, I won. I won Toronto. That's all I care about. Screw everything else. I took Toronto. <laughs> I beat both empires just barely. But I beat them. That's all that matters. Yeah. Uh, this is Galvin, I guess, signing off. Yeehaw!